when you mess up, own it to the players, right? You know, if I was inappropriate with the referee, make sure the players see me apologize to that referee, right? Or let them know what, he, what I did to do that. If I made a, a, a boneheaded mistake in terms of how I should have subbed or handled making sure I got some kids in the game late in a, in a game, I got to make sure that the team sees me apologize to the players I may have wronged. And I think so much of it is, um, goes back to relationship, right? So I would always start my practices with a circle. And it was an opportunity to sort of express how, where I was at emotionally to start that practice, but also give other players opportunities. And it was amazing to me how open people became. And I would just say, like, look, I just, had a, I just left an awful meeting. And I'm telling you right now, I'm in a foul mood because of that. And if I take it out on any one of you, I'm going to apologize right now. But I'm hoping by me acknowledging it, I'm not going to take it out on any of you. And I think that, that's where the character stuff comes in. It's, just, it's humanizing the experience. It's really letting them know I value you, right? And I value the, the two hours we're about to have together. Like, these are, these are precious moments. It's a short season. We only get each other a couple hour, hours a day. That stuff resonates much more than putting up, you know, pride is forever and stuff over locker rooms. I mean, that stuff's all well and good, but I don't think it has the same impact as you know, practices in terms of how we treat each other. For the full interview and our other videos, visit our YouTube channel and help us grow by subscribing. Support our nonprofit work online at evenfield.org.